Hi guys, today I have my rather large Zoya Earth Day event haul for you. And if you didn't know about the event, I'm sorry to say that it's over, but you can, I'd say with probably 99% certainty, look forward to it next year. Uh, this is, I think, the third year that I've taken advantage of it. And it's basically a big exchange and sale that Zoya puts on every year for Earth Day. And you can find more details about it on their Facebook page, on their blog. Um, Zoya even has a YouTube channel and they have some of the cutest and funniest little promotional videos out there, in my opinion. Um, I've always had really good um, customer service from Zoya and I obviously love their polish. So I'm gonna start out with the two colors that I used for the water marble that's on my nails right now. And starting off with this light purple, which is called Harmony. And then the darker purple that I used in this marble is called Sloan. And I think that this haul will probably be up before I get around to editing the water marble tutorial. But of course, once I do get that edited, I will include an annotation up here, as well as a link down in the information box. So on to the other colors that I picked up. Um, starting off with this kind of shimmering taupe color. And this one, I'm not absolutely positive of the name. On the website, it's listed as Hermina, but the label actually says Hernina with an N. So I'm not sure which one is the accurate name. I think Hermina is probably a more uh, common actual uh, person name. Um, you may know that Zoya's polishes, for the most part, are have people names, which is sometimes a little confusing if you think the name should have something to do with the color but I don't know it also allows you to have a polish in your name and I do own the Colette color so the next one I have to show you guys is Gaia and that's this white with a really heavy golden shimmer and I will try to look up the names of the collections for most of these and include that in the blog post when I get that up. I can tell you that this sparkly teal, which is called Zuza, is from their summer collection. And the complementary shade to this is Wednesday, which is a little bit lighter and is a cream instead of a shimmer. And those of you that have shopped with Zoya before may know that they frequently do collections that are kind of similar or complementary colors with, say, six being creams and six being shimmers. So this summer's collection is along those lines. I also picked up a couple of matte colors. This bright pink is called Lolly. And then this kind of bright yellowish green is called Mitzi. And I really like how Zoya's mattes come in this kind of frosted bottle. And although they do have a very flat finish, they're also very pretty with a glossy top coat. Um, a lot of times that will bring out like a hidden shimmer and a lot of depth that you maybe didn't suspect was there when you just see it as a matte color. And as I'm going through these, they just come, and I still have them in their little Zoya boxes, and each box inside has six polishes. So in this one, I have two somewhat similar whites. The first one I'm going to show you is Snowsicle, and this one looks like it's a little bit more sheer, maybe meant as more of a layering polish. And the second is called Janessa, which is a little bit more opaque, but still very shimmery. And just to give you guys a look at them next to each other, there you can see kind of a side by side how they are obviously both whites, but still very different. I also picked up Trixie, which is this metallic silver that has been on my list for quite a while. 
I never really have trouble picking polishes from Zoya, but that one just never quite made it in my basket before now. This next color is called Carly, and this is kind of a foily fuchsia color with, you can probably see, quite a bit of silver running through it. Then I have a Kimber, which is a bright pink with a lot of gold shimmer to it. And this is actually pretty similar to um, the China Glaze that I just recently picked up, but I'm going to show you side by side here again. Um, they're both pinks with gold shimmer, and they are quite close in color, but they're not identical. In fact, really nowhere near identical to my very picky eye. So I like having both of them. If you're not a polish addict, you may not need both of them. And then this soft pink that has kind of a silver shimmer to it is called Rory. And this is a very girly color and kind of a little bit out of my normal um, comfort zone. But every now and then I feel like doing something a little bit cuter and more on the girly side. So that's why I picked that one up. On to the next box. I actually have another pink in here. And this one I kind of almost want to describe as juicy. This is called Katie. And it's not like neon bright but it just has kind of a glow to it and I'd like to marble with this one if it works out I have a couple colors that I'm already considering for that then I have Aretha which is this frosty foily purple and Kristen which is a very pale bluish gray cream then I have Hope, which is a deep purple, and another one from their summer collection. This is Meg, which is a shimmery green, and complimentary to Meg, I also picked up Tracy. And I kind of like the way these two look together. I've actually done um, a little bit of testing. I'm considering doing a marble featuring these two with maybe a little bit of black added. Um, it comes out kind of subtle. And so I'm still not quite sure. In fact, let me just grab one of my test swatches since they're right here. See if I can show you guys. Might be a little bit of glare on that, but that's one of my tests from last night like I said using those two and then an orly black I also picked up Juno and you may be thinking that this looks a lot like hope and they are very similar but Juno actually has a flash of like blue and green where hope is just purely purple so I'm not sure if that's going to come across on camera, but I hope you guys can see that. Um, coming close to the end here, this is Goldie, which speaks for itself. It's a very metallic, kind of deep gold. And then I have Roxy, which is just an absolute glitter bomb. Um, the swatches I've seen of this are just awesomely, awesomely sparkly, and I can't wait to wear that one. And I'm going to end it on a classic red sparkle, and this is called Delilah. And, you know, it seems like red and pink are some of the most traditional nail colors, but that doesn't mean they have to be boring. This is, you know, I wouldn't quite classify it as a glitter when compared to like Roxy I would kind of say it's more of a sparkle because you can see it has glitter in it but it also has color polish in it so I don't know I will I'll try eventually to get into a little bit more of the differences in finishes because I do get a lot of questions on that but there are so many subtle variations that you know if you try to 
you know, narrow it down. It really doesn't do the polish justice. I mean, even within glitter, there's purely glitter, there's sparkle, there's large size glitter, there's bar glitter, there's glitter that comes in shapes like hearts or stars. So that's something to get into in another video, as I said. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this haul. Um, keep an eye out for this purple striped water marble tutorial. And as always, thanks for watching.